Today on Jaren Jeff Eden US, it is patio time. Checking out the paddle wheeler. Yeah. A uh, definite contender for best patio in all of New West. It's hard to argue with that. We're sitting here. Especially on a day like today. Right on the river. Perfect day. It was supposed to be cloudy today. Hi, I'm Marco Lucarino. I'm the general manager here at the Paddle Wheeler Pub. My mom, uh, she was the former general manager here and uh, she was with the company for 17 years, I think. Myself, I, I started here when I was 14 as a dishwasher and uh, I've uh, been slowly working my way up the, uh, the ladder, if you will. But no, I used to come here all the time. I played video games on the computer when I was like eight years old. So I've really grown up in this place. I started here as the chef when I was 18, just out of high school. We had gone through a couple head chefs at the time, like three or four, like a, a quite a quite a large number of individuals, and we had our individual problems with each chef. But uh, I just kind of started doing things. No one really said yes or no, and honestly, I probably wasn't qualified or had any sort of capacity to do the job. But uh, I just started doing it, and uh, luckily, it worked out for me. Put in that hard work. This place used to be what I like to call a Cisco bag in the box kitchen. You know, everything from deep fried pickles to potato skins and this and that, which might have been some crowd favorites, but they all came pre-breaded, pre-frozen. They were in a bag. All we had to do was drop them in a fryer. And quite honestly, I don't consider that cooking. So uh, first thing I changed here was uh, was the food, going to fresh food. So we had our meal, mm -hmm. amazing patio. I had the oh, um, their orange, bourbon old-fashioned. They've got a whole old-fashioned menu, which is kind of cool. Um, they've got traditional, they've got a pomegranate one, they've got a maple one. Um, I haven't tried the maple one. I've tried the pomegranate, I've tried the traditional. The orange, I think, was my favorite. The calamari, which is, again, no Cisco here. This is all fully breaded in-house, fried to order. So no, no rubber, chewy calamari. You know how it gets, like mm -hmm. that, yeah, that chewiness, rubbery feeling. Um, Tender, yeah. amazing. And some other popular sellers are going to be the pretzel and beer cheese. So I got to throw out a little thing to uh, the Micro Bakester, another local uh, supplier here in New West. She's great because she goes around to the local breweries here in New West, like Steel and Oak. I know for sure she might be going Dagerad. I'm not sure, but she's incorporating a lot of the waste that these breweries are are having into her pretzels. So. You know, it's, it's just a good sustainable uh, business plan as well in that term. Mm -hmm. and, and once again, it's just another opportunity to support the community. Did not disappoint. Fresh, warm, tasty, the cheese dip. Um, the cheese dip was fine, but it's the pretzel itself that uh, really is. You uh, like that cheese dip? I think that they just work harmoniously together yeah. and they're just, uh, the pretzel, good on its own. Mm -hmm. Cheese sauce, fine on its own. But I feel Put like them together. together <laughs> yeah. The saltiness and the oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's delicious. You stole a little bit. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I it's something I'd never tried. I, I've seen it on on menu, um, but it was just kind of basic sounding. Like you it, know, not that they describe it wrong, but you're like, it's pretzel. It's a beer cheese. It's not dip, exciting, but, right? But together, it's it's something something else. Since I've begun as general manager, my entire focus has been. The community we are now up to 45 plus local partners i believe you know we are grinding coffee beans in house for individuals who drink coffee so we're also partnering up with uh, full basket butcher shop up the road uh, victor there he's been doing an incredible job himself uh with uh, eat new west and as well as the community so it was really quite an easy decision to uh, switch to a organic non-gmo all the you know all the non this and that stuff so even on the craft spirit side of things like uh there is an emerging trend in vancouver right now of brand new distilleries that are opening up and uh you know phillips on the island uh they got some whiskey products and stuff uh, gin products now we also carry sons of vancouver they're doing an incredible job out there of creating some stuff and our new summer cocktail menu is gonna is gonna feature a lot of their really really small batch of limited edition kind of spirits uh but we're up to uh like probably eight different craft spirits from vancouver specifically working with odd society as well and 
Um, we're really just focusing as a whole on that community focus. This is, just, this is a solid pack of cheese. Probably the best one in the city. I will say that right now. It looks good. Um, and when you were packing it up, because you had way too much food, and you put the spicy chicken leftovers you had on top of it, I was like, oh, there's an ad. Maybe too. that's another. <laughs> like, I wonder if they're hiring. Yeah. Marco, can I get a job? <laughs> They have the color caramelized onions. I think it's actually in the title on the menu. Um, but they just slow cook these onions down until it's like it yeah. literally tastes like sugar. We uh, we won the uh, the DoorDash Le Burger Week with the crispy chicken sandwich last year in, in last year's competition. So uh, that's going to be a staple of ours probably forever. And, and that's definitely one of our most popular burgers. It's delicious. Like I'm going to have a hard time not ordering that. The spice level is just right. That crunchy batter is tasty, the kind of coleslaw that they put in there, delicious. Um, my favorite part about the whole thing though is the bun that they put it on. That bun from the bakery in the key. What's what's that bakery? Palm olive. Palm olive. Palm olive. Palm olive. Oh, not palm olive, not the soap. Not palm olive. Palm olive. Palm, 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 palm olive. I, the key bakery. It's the bakery in the key. <laughs> delicious yeah, like delicious. like so good and and french fries were tasty um but really it was that that sandwich that's probably my favorite if you didn't order that i, I you tried to order it first and then i i cut you off yeah and then i i so i, I because you were having that i'm like yeah. i need to have some of that chicken in my life today yeah um i put it on top of their taco salad mm -hmm. uh and i'd never seen i'd seen pictures of the taco salad but i never ordered it before so i wanted to um, to get the taco salad and I wanted to plus one it. Mm -hmm. So I went off book a little bit on that. Typical Jer. <laughs> and added a <laughs> substitution. No, just a, a that protein add of the uh, of the chicken, the, the hot chicken, deep fr fried chicken, chicken breast burger patty and had it cut up with some hot sauce on top on the, on the salad. Um, really good. It looks super tasty. Yeah, really good. Lots of food. Um, it looks like the salsa is made in house. It looks like the guacamole. Mm -hmm. um, everything's just so much different. I feel like everything's almost the opposite of what it was mm -hmm. in the past there. And it's just so nice to see, see it it change. That's the paddle wheeler. Totally new and improved. If you've been there before and you've kind of written it off, I highly suggest that you give it a second chance. Both Jar and I were very pleasantly surprised. Thanks and a lot. They have a, they have a wicked patio. And the patio is amazing. Have a good day, guys.